Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about application load balancer and versus network load balancer and which one is the right choice for your application. How we can decide it, which load balancer should I use to my application. Okay guys, this is what our agenda today and about the hands on about that network load balancer and application load balancer. I have already demonstrated in my previous session. I will give those link to this video description. This session will explain like which one is the right choice for your application only. Okay guys. So let's move on to that. So before jump to this, which one is the right choice for your application? Let's uh, understand like let us understand what is the load balancer basically. Load balancer is a kind of entry point like where that every request will start will come to that particular entry point and from that entry point it will start request forward to that particular different different target group. Okay guys. So target group is nothing but it can be content multiple EC2 instance or maybe it is can be content the container service or maybe some other service okay guys in the target groups and uh, once the target group listen the, uh, the request then it will forward that to the particular EC2 instance or any other server okay guys. So I hope it's got clear like what the load balancer it is and let's move on to that. Now if you are new to this load balancer then what my suggestion personally I will say use the application load balancer in, uh, rather than use uh, network load balancer and if you have any specific requirement to use the network load balancer then I will say use the network load balancer otherwise use the application load balancer okay guys now problem like we will discuss like one by one problem and that what could be the solution Suppose problem, do you have a, any non-HTTP client? Suppose you have an application and that application you are trying to access from non-HTTP client. What does mean is like suppose UDP or TCP or HTTP slash 3. You are trying by using those protocol you want to connect that particular application or maybe your client have restriction to use those protocol only. Then in that case it should be required to use network load balancer otherwise you can simply go ahead use the application load balancer okay guys now next problem is like performance wise right uh, like if you are using application load balancer or if you are using network load balancer then which one will be the good performance so performance in the sense like application load balancer will work in seven layers whereas network load balancer will work in four layers what doesn't mean like seven layers means each and every request, whatever request coming uh, to this endpoint, then each and every request has to be uh, in, like inspect or has to be verified, right? Uh, all the HTTP requests, right? It has to be verified, right? So that verification time will take time since it is a seven layer, right? Whereas the four layer means verification time will be the less, like inspect time will be less compared to uh, like ALB, right? So in that case, like NLB will be the very fast or uh, compared to ALB okay guys so if you are thinking like performance wise then we should use the NLB okay guys now problem is your application need to support the static IP then in that case there is no other alternate option you have to use the NL in the network load balancer okay guys because there is no alternate option for uh, because ALB will not support that uh, what I can say the static IP okay guys now Suppose uh, another use case scenario like your application there is a chance to uncertain traffic suddenly traffic might get increased in such scenario what you have to do then uh, this application load balancer will not support that uh, uncertain traffic uh, for that you have to do some kind of warm pool or you have to maintain some pre warm pool kind of thing you have to maintain or you have to take the help from the AWS support team to maintain that warm pool kind of thing for ALB. But if you are using NLB, then it, NLB can be able to handle that uncertain traffic also. So in that case, NLB like network load choice. Okay, guys. Now here, one more thing is the authentication. This is one good important thing. Like if you would like to use like SAML or open ID connection OAuth, then uh, if you are planning to use this kind of authentication, right, then uh, network will not support this kind of authentication then you have to use that application load balancer only okay guys now another thing is the WA like web, web application firewall 
that uh, maybe in my subsequent video i will talk about more about the wf what basically is how we can create how we can use it but if you planning to use this wf then nlb will not support you have to use alb okay guys but there is a option suppose you have a nlb but you want to still use that wf right then what you can do uh, in front of nlb you can keep the alb then you can able to use the wf now next one more problem is like if you multiplexing multiplexing in the sense right if you want to reuse your connection or reuse when request right in that case like network load balancer will not support reuse the connection it will be always fresh so that multiplexing will not support nlb then if you are planning to use multiplexing then alb is the good choice so that's all there are these are the differences so i hope you guys clearly understood like based on your requirement you have to decide which one you have to select so if you are in the new in this node load balancers uh, then i will request you guys use the application load, load balancer until and unless you have any specific requirement okay guys i hope this session will helpful to you guys and if you feel is valuable then please subscribe like and share with surrounding with your friend that will really inspire to me Okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye